For those of you who love lightweight helmets like I do, I'm getting ready to do a review on perhaps the lightest weight full face helmet on the market today. The next XR2 Carbon Helmet. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continually video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. The reason why I love really lightweight helmets is because it provides less strain on your neck and it just feels so comfortable and it just feels like a helmet isn't on your head like some of the real heavy helmets that uh, can be quite taxing on you on long rides um, and I will tell you guys I have been trying to find the perfect helmet for many years since I've been doing this motovlog channel uh, seven years ago I've had a ton of helmets over the years guys <laughs> If you go to my review section and my playlist on my website at cyclecruiser.com, uh, you'll see all the different reviews I did on helmets over the years. Adventure helmets, full face helmets. And uh, like I said, I've been trying to find a perfect full face helmet for a long time. And I've had a lot of good ones, guys. Oh, I love this Apria. I got to be careful, baby. <laughs> Don't want to get busted again, man. Got to keep it clean out here, baby. But I'll tell you guys that this helmet is a... F oh, my goodness. This helmet is lightweight, man. I put it on my shipping scale. Three pounds, three ounces. Full carbon helmet. And what I really love about this helmet is that uh, being a full carbon helmet, most of the time when you look for a full carbon helmet, they're usually all black or dark, um, which I don't like dark gear and helmets or whatnot because I want to help. I want to be seen out here. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be stealth out here because it could set you up for a real fucked up day. Even though all black does look cool, but what I like about this, it has a contrasting carbon color with the pearlescent white, and it has reflectors on the uh, the front sides and back as well. And I will tell you guys, we got a cop right there, baby. See? Cops everywhere. <laughs> You'll pro see, look, he's probably swinging around right now, man. It's like, ah, uh, he's, he's probably think I'm getting ready to speed, but I'm not. I'm not speeding, baby. You can come behind me, but you ain't getting me. But anyways... Note, I left the chin vent open by air and the mic is right next to the vent so you're going to hear a lot more wind noise than usual. This is perhaps one of the most comfortable helmets I've had. I've had some comfortable helmets, man. But this helmet is really, really comfortable. And I highly recommend if you do decide to go with this helmet, make sure to go with the size up. Uh, because they recommend it and I recommend it. I'll tell you guys, I normally wear a medium and, and a lot of helmets uh, so I decided to go by their recommendation and went with a large and I'll tell you it's the absolute perfect fit I would not want to go smaller on this helmet at all <laughs> and it feels really comfortable man and I'll tell you guys for a price of just a little over 500 or less sometimes you can get these for a great deal uh, a full carbon helmet that's a good price man because a lot of the full carbon, super lightweight helmets are can be really expensive. Uh, anywhere up to like $1,000, man. So the only drawback, I'd say, is that you don't get the Pinlock Shield uh, insert with it. You have to purchase it separately. I believe in the past it used to come with the Pinlock uh, insert, but you have to buy it. And I highly recommend that you buy it, guys. Uh, because I've helmets I've had in the past where they were pin lock ready and I didn't put a pin lock in them, you can almost guarantee that they're gonna fall like that Arai Adventure helmet uh, that I have. But once you put the pin lock in there, baby, you don't have any issues with fogging. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, even at standstills, just talking in my helmet, doing a motor vlog at a light, this helmet does not fog up whatsoever. 
and another thing I really like about this helmet it does come with a chin curtain that is removable uh, the chin curtain hugs up on the chin real nice and I'll tell you guys this is a pretty quiet helmet I'm you know I always wear earplugs and I highly recommend that you wear earplugs uh, because there is no helmet that's quiet enough that can uh, prevent hearing damage I'll tell you uh, so I know a lot there'll be people out there that will tell you all oh, cycle cruiser There's helmets out there that are quiet. You don't need earplugs Wear earplugs if you value your hearing and you don't want Tinnitus constant ringing in your ears all the freaking time then you better wear earplugs I can't even ride without earplugs and also it'll be less fatiguing to you as well You won't get tired on really long rides. I really like the shield removal on this helmet it's very easy and simple no tools needed it just has a piece here you do a quarter turn on this knob it pulls off on both sides and the shield pops right off no no problems I like that as far as the airflow in the helmet is absolutely spot-on it feels really good man all over my head I can feel it all of my face my head oh man it feels good and by the way, this helmet is supposed to be built as a helmet specifically for uh, being in a crotch, in a in a uh, tuck position, a full tuck position. But I will tell you guys, I'm in a, a near, a mostly upright seating position, and when I take one hand off, I'm in an upright seating position. And I will tell you guys, it's fine. I don't have any issues. Uh, there is a breath guard here that kind of gets in your line of sight. But it is removable, and when I get home, I'm going to remove uh, this breath shield here. It does have cutouts in the ears for speakers, for those of you guys that like to have your center Bluetooth set up. And uh, also, it has, uh, the, as far as the vents, it has a chin vent here. Uh, just open and close, two vents at the top with three positions, closed, uh, middle, and fully open. I have it in a full open position right now. Like I said, I feel good flow of my head, face. It feels really good. The vents in the back are not adjustable at all. And uh, as far as the view angle, looking out of the helmet, it's just as good as any other full face helmet that I've had. I did decide to add the mirror shield. And I'll tell you guys, I highly recommend getting a mirror shield, especially for those of you guys that like the Rocky all black stealth look. Uh, because this can help provide some visibility as well and uh, to cars getting ready to make a turn it has that nice reflection it makes it more, make you more visible um, I only ride during the daytime very rarely do I ride at night uh, I know some of you guys are gonna say cycle cruiser what do you do at night with the, uh, the mirror shield if I get caught at night I'll lift the shield up and I'll put on my clear motorcycle wraparound glasses which by the way I'll include a link to in the description and comment section of this video the cons to this helmet so far that I can come up with and I like to you know I like to this cons to everything you know what I'm saying nothing is hundred percent perfect the problem that I have with this is it doesn't have the incremental cracks like a, a little crack right here you can't really do it um, the on the foot the first stop point is right here which is too tall you try to do a little crack here it closes right back down which is not a big issue but I wish it did have the incremental cracks like some of the helmets do it doesn't have the emergency pull uh, cheek pad removal system like it used to in the past I don't know for whatever reason they removed they stopped doing it but I will tell you guys that if you are in an emergency situation and the paramedics, you know, you get in an accident and the paramedics have to take your cheek pads off to uh, carefully remove your helmet. Uh, with a helmet like this, it can be difficult to do because these cheek pads are not easy, super easy to remove. Uh, that's another con to this helmet. It's not a big deal. But if you were in an emergency situation, I can see where it can be an issue for paramedics trying to remove these cheek pads so if you're listening next I would highly recommend you go back to adding the emergency cheek pad removal on this um, make sure you follow the instructions when you remove the cheek pad just don't go and pull it out uh, because there is you have to like slide it over uh, if you don't you end up breaking the tab off so be very careful removing the, uh, the interior and I will tell you guys 
the interior is it has a cool max antimicrobial interior and i will tell you guys that this interior is very comfortable it feels like a pillow on my face and head and my cheeks are not squeezed together like most helmets i have high cheekbones and it's generally very irritating for me for especially a brand new helmet that has to be broken in uh, where the cheeks where the cheek pads squeeze my cheeks like a vice grip and it can be irritating but this helmet is absolutely perfect but if you have any issue with the fitment of your helm uh, the interior of the helmet it does come with an ergo fit system it comes with these pads for the sides and the rear so you can uh, you know put filler pads in to help make it more of a snug fit and you definitely want to do that if the helmet is a little loose but I, I'll tell you guys that I really like this helmet, man. It doesn't let any airflow underneath into the helmet with this nice chin curtain. It hugs up on your chin, which the chin curtain is removable, by the way. So it's absolutely perfect for us motor vloggers to help keep wind noise, you know, from affecting our, our audio in our videos. Um, and also, as you see here, it's motor vlog friendly. Uh, it has the... Uh, you have to chop off part of the GoPro mount, just the bottom hacks off the bottom part of it so it fits right on the chin bar if you like to mount it like I do. I like the full frontal position. And uh, so I really like it as far as the microphone. I put it up underneath the crack of the, the top part of the cheek pad on the inside, on, the, on my right side. Uh, I did a full video on my moto vlog setup that I normally do. I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video if you want to learn how to set your, your helmet up like I do and what mic to use, what camera to use, techniques for your moto vlogs or whatnot. Uh, go check that video out. Like I said, link in the description and comment section of this video. By the way, the uh, link to get this helmet. Uh, the mirror shield and the pin lock insert i'll include those links in the description and comment section of my videos as well and also if you go to my website cyclecruiser.com and you click on the menu tab my gear that's links to all my stuff by the way this helmet is dot and ece rated uh, it's been on the market for a while now they may have made some upgrades to the helmet the interior of the helmet they made it more comfortable uh, i was going to purchase this helmet in the past but I heard some negative things about Fitbit or whatnot, but that was years ago. Since then, they have made some upgrades to the helmet, and I can tell you guys, it's spot on. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic helmet, man. I love it as far as it doesn't catch the wind at all. Very aerodynamic, and it's really super windy out here right now. And uh, absolutely amazing, man. <laughs> Along with this Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory, baby. <laughs> I really want to light it up, man. But I don't want to get another ticket. <laughs> but uh, i tell you guys, thumbs up to this helmet. Highly recommend it. But anyways, guys, I hope this helmet review helps you guys out. If you want to see more of my reviews, like I said, go check out my playlist at cyclecruiser.com. Click on my videos. So... Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.